Delia Webster was a well-known abolitionist and conductor on the Underground Railroad in Ohio and Kentucky, and was the first woman in prison for involvement in the Underground Railroad. Delia Webster was born on December 17, 1817, in Vermont, to Benija and Esther Webster. She attended Oberlin College in Oberlin, Ohio, which was one of the first institutions of higher education to admit women and African-American students. Webster's time at Oberlin influenced her anti-slavery work as the college was a hotbed of the abolition movement in Ohio. She became a school teacher after graduating and was actively involved in religious and civil societies in Ohio. In 1844, Webster was working as a school teacher in Lexington, Kentucky, where she became heavily involved in anti-slavery work. At the time, she was living in the home of a woman named Mrs. Glass. Calvin Fairbrank, a Methodist minister from New York and prominent abolitionist, heard about Webster's work from mutual friends at Oberlin College, which he also attended. Fairbank traveled to Lexington and began living at Mrs. Glass's boarding house as well. In September of 1844, Fairbank and Webster aided the escape of three slaves from Ohio, Lewis and Harriet Hayden, and their son, Joseph. The team transported the freedom seekers by wagon. While the Haydens were safely left at a stop on the Underground Railroad, Fairbank and Webster were discovered by two slave owners looking for the Haydens. They were linked to the escape and further incriminated when Mrs. Glass claimed she found correspondence between the two in Webster's trunk where they discussed running off slaves. Webster and Fairbank were both arrested for their role in the Haydens case. The trial took place in November of 1844 in Lexington, Kentucky. Webster asked for a separate trial from Fairbank because of the prejudices existing against him, and this new trial was granted. While she claimed that Fairbank had tricked her and she believed the individuals they were transporting were white, Webster was still convicted and sentenced to two years in the penitentiary. The Lexington trial made Delia Webster a household name among abolitionists and slaveholders alike, as it was published in newspapers across the nation. One newspaper commented that while the abolition cause was worthy of praise, women should not be involved in the Underground Railroad and Webster was justifiably punished. The effects of the sentence lasted decades in the public mind. In 1869, 25 years after the conviction, an Iowa newspaper remarked, Webster gained considerable notoriety in the region by being sent to the Kentucky Penitentiary for running off Negro slaves. Webster was taken to Frankfurt Prison on July 9, 1845. She quickly began the work of asking for a gu gubernatorial pardon. The pardon maintained that Webster was innocent of the crime and not involved in abolition work. Anti-slavery newspapers, such as the Green Mountain Freeman, decried this claim stating that Webster was being untruthful and betrayed the cause of the slave and the reputation of the abolition body. She was pardoned after serving only two months of her sentence. In 1846, she responded to the argument that she had betrayed the cause, stating that the petition for pardon was written by a friend to appease her family, and she was unaware of the process. After her release, Webster returned to live with her parents in Vermont. There she wrote a book about the case titled, Kentucky Jurisprudence, A History of the Trial of Mistelia A. Webster.